Right then, back on the video. There's all sorts of weird things happening with the camera at the moment. There's the cliff edge just right just through those bushes there. It keeps still saying one and three quarter miles to watch it. It's been saying that for at least half a mile so far. What we're doing, we're just going around that big chunk that stuck out that was taking images of. And someone was going on about, oh, you might have to go through fields of cows. I know one thing, I'm going up bloody hill. Right, let's uh, get, see, see what date it is. Um, it's the 7th. It, it feels like a weekend, but it's not. It's a Tuesday of August, 7th of August 2018. It's because I'm in holiday maker territory. But if you come to places like this, they don't come. They just want to play with the machines. Just go on the promenade, have an ice cream. And then once they've walked half a mile, they, they think they've been on a marathon. <sighs> no, sometimes you don't, when you're on holiday, you, you just want to see the very local bits, don't you? You don't always want to go off walking. <sighs> All I know is I'm going uphill, my breathing is um, getting more laboured. I haven't stopped. I did sit down, actually I lie, I did sit down on a bench for about 10 minutes when I had my cheese crisps, a Kit Kat and a drink of water. I mean, it's very tempting to have stuff when you're walking along and there's fish and chips, ice creams. I haven't, I haven't though. I've got, so I've got a bag full of food. I've got cake. I've got, um, Oops, I've got more cheese, fruit, I've got a jelly in there. So there we are, that's uh, the cliff edge as well. I can't remember the, when I've read it online, anyone talking about going through the wood though. I think normally when the tide's out, most people walk round the, walk round, keep away from the cliffs, but walk round. So I don't know what's coming. All I know is I'm glad it isn't too hot. It's not hot. It's a cool breeze. There's no sun. It's very grey, actually. It's not good for photography. It's very grey. Hopefully we'll be at the top of the hill in a minute. Oh. Okay. Oh, and if there are fields there, at least they're fenced off, look. Pleasant walk, actually. Except it's uphill. At least I would have done this section. I mean, I haven't done from St Audrey's Bay to the to watch it yet. There's a little bit because of that confusion about all that. So I might not even bother with that at the moment. I'm Right, it's a short video. The camera's playing up big time. It's not connecting up very well to the battery charger. I need a new lead. So I haven't really been able to do any video and this will probably go off pretty quick. I don't even know if it's going to save it either. I've got to keep my finger pressed on a button that connects the camera to the battery charger. So that seems to be the only way it'll work. 
So I've been going around this field full of um, harvested straw and there were, there's two people, there were two people just ahead of me, man and a woman earlier. The cliff's just to the left of me through all that and some trees. The blackberries don't look too good because there's been no water so they should really be looking lush but they're everything's suffering because of this heat wave. Now over there we've got the Quantock Hills of course coming into view in a minute up there look. Stuff I've done I've walked and been on the top all up there that's the Quantocks up there. I've walked all along those they're my hills It, we must be very close to watch it now. It's like following the coast around, only you're up here. And there's not a lot to see but these bushes. But it's been alright, it hasn't been a bad day really. It hasn't been a bad day, we haven't had to face any cows yet. But it's a lovely summer scene still, look. I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, I'm trying to record, I don't know if it will. It turns itself off after 10 seconds. <sighs> it's a much bigger walk than I thought, but there's the Quantox, look. See? I can see um, West Bagborough, right over there. Then we'll be round the corner in a minute, we should see some of the coast. <sighs> oh, this is looking better, isn't it? This is looking better. Right over there, right up there where the red cliffs are, that's St Audrey's Bay, which is right round, further on from... Um, I've done all that a couple of weeks ago. That could be Donning, Donningford Holiday Camp there. Yeah, I've done all that. Just going to turn off in case it don't save and I'll come back on again. Right, coming straight back on. As I said, I, the camera's been so good, it's the worst... worst it's been for a year. It's been well used, mine. Now there's a church there, I've got a feeling that's Watch It Church. Which I haven't, I probably have been in that, or Washford, one of them, I probably have been in it a long time ago. Well this looks like, um, we're coming down now, look. Coming down, I think this must be, i got a feeling this must be, um, watch it, this bit here. I think it must be. I don't know where um yeah there's the there's the marina there and, and the train station must be very close up that end somewhere. Oh yeah I can see the train. Hold on let me just zoom in. Look. Hope it catches this. Look. That's the train there. That's the steam train. From Watch It look. Can't hear nothing though. Like I said, I went on the train several hours ago, and um, well, it's nice to be out of those woods. Those woods seem to go on forever. <sighs> Couldn't see nothing. Got lovely views now though. Got lovely views now. There we go, it's a long way off where I was this morning. I've walked all around this coast, everyone. Up high though. Zoom in, there's Butlins. That's the landmark with the white spikes. Like a giant tent. That's Butlins. I was right over there, walked all the way from beyond Butlins, right, right up the top there. 
and I followed the coast all the way round. All through this wood I've been ahead of me here, I've walked right through it. I didn't know that I was going to have to walk right through that. I had no idea. And there's over here, like I said, we've got the Crondog Hills up there. Um, I've done quite a lot of the coastal walk. I've done quite a lot of the coastal walk. Like I said, the camera's been playing up. Um, so I've, but I've been able to take the photo. It would charge up enough to let me take photos. This is actually the longest time it's allowed me to do a video. And well, I'm glad it's come back on because um, I didn't particularly want to do that particular walk again. I've got a lot to do to go back and video again. I'm just what I've got to do. I, sh I normally I bring a spare lead, and well, last year I was always carrying two cameras, so it'll have to happen again. I didn't bring the spare lead or the thing to plug into the. Um, cigarette like everything which charges up everything I haven't got a spare lead anyway this lead is very fragile it has been for a long time actually it's been very fragile this lead God, you know I've only just taken my denim top off I'm gonna to have to put it back on it's got very blowy now I mean people were looking at me as if I was overdressed this morning but I wasn't I was getting ready for this. God, I've walked such a long way. And I look, I've just done a huge chunk. They said it would take two and a half hours. No way would it take two and a half hours to walk that. Looks like an old pill box, doesn't it, this? Hanging on. Or it could have been a kiln. That could have been a lime kiln. There's a lot of them about... Right, over and out, let me just stop again in case it clicks off. So I've just come down there, I've just walked miles. Well, it, to me, it seemed miles. <laughs> to be quite, I don't believe them when they said I've, it was only one and three quarter miles. Because one and three quarter miles went on for about three miles. They were still showing one and three quarter miles, even when I'd already done a lot. So I've walked right through that, that wood there. Up and down. I've done it. At least I've done it. Now we've got to go over towards Watchet Harbour. I mean, the fact that it wouldn't let me do videos allowed me to save quite a bit of battery, I should think. For your safety, Dawes Castle, a hill fort fortified by Alfred the Great. Dawes Castle is the site of a hill fort originally enclosed by semicircular ramparts and ditches. Enclosed about two hectares with the coastal cliffs behind. It may have Iron Age, Iron Age ore origins but was fortified or re-fortified by Alfred the Great. I'm connected to him by the way, he's in my tree. 18871-99 AD. As part of a line of coastal defences linked by the hare path or military coastal road. Excavation revealed an earlier phase of defences with a bank faced by, strong, by stone wall probably from Alfred's time, and a second phase of defences with a more substantial wall and wider banks of a slightly later date. This was probably the original burr or fortified settlement of Watchet, and there was a mint here. Right. Dawes Castle then. Let's turn off to do a picture. Hold on, I bet it won't come back on now. 